Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Dog Custom Creations. Today, I'm going to be doing a military digital camo with temporary tattoos tumbler for either epoxy users or crystallac. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. You're going to want to start out with a prepped and spray painted tumbler either with this color or a tan. It's gonna give the tattoos a tan look behind it. These are the two sheets I'm using. They're full temporary tattoo sheets off of Amazon. I will link them in the description. I wanted two separate images off each one for more of a modern military versus like the old school Vietnam, etc. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out your image you want. What I do is I cut around the edges just so you can kind of get an idea when you're laying it on your tumbler. I don't like any sharp points, so I trim those down. Don't worry too much on the edges. You will be blending those later with your digital pattern you're gonna create. So remember, these are temporary tattoos, so you're gonna be laying them face down. They're not like a water slide that you'll be face up, so you have to face them down. You're gonna need a bucket of water and a rag to apply these tattoos. So they have like a thin plastic sheet on the top you're gonna to have to remove before you can lay it onto your tumbler. I kind of fold mine in half and once you stick it onto your tumbler, you cannot move it. So I only do a little part at a time, get some water on my rag, press it down, go work from the middle out, and kind of, you're gonna wanna get the least amount of folds as possible, but since mine has a curve, it's not even feasible to not have any folds. But they're kind of hide in this design. So once you're able to Remove the backing if you've added enough water on top of the carrier sheet to remove it. I then just run my hand along to make sure there's no massive folding in the tattoo or anything, any water underneath the tattoo. So you can take a dry section of that cloth you used and kind of tap it down on the tattoo. Be careful, you can smudge the tattoo. And if you find any air bubbles, you can take a sharp craft knife and kind of tap on it to pop it and then use your finger to kind of flatten it back down. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side, but this is not as big of a tattoo. So I'm able to kind of hold a whole side off of the tumbler before I lay it flat. Once the tattoos dry fully, you can move on to the next colors. These are the next three colors I'm gonna be layering to get that digital camo look so my tattoos are completely dry you can do a layer of epoxy or bright tone if you don't want to be super careful around the tattoos i suggest wearing gloves and a mask because we're going to be using spray paints protect your surface this is a sponge i got at walmart um it's a sea sponge for your face i actually did not like these sponges at all these are my favorite. You see the texture in them? I got them on Amazon. So these ones have already been used multiple times. So you can reuse them. They sometimes get crusty and hard. You can just cut off that top section. You're looking for all that different texture that the one from Walmart doesn't really have. You can use it if you can't find these other ones. So first I'm gonna start with my darkest color. And then you're going to just tap it along your tumbler where you're wanting the digital camo to be. Do not go over your tattoos edges. We will fill those in later. When you're pouncing your sponges, you wanna keep changing the angle. You wanna change the position. So it's not the exact same Design from your sponge over and over. If you get too heavy-handed, wipe it off while it's still wet. 
So this is just the very, very base color. You're going to be going back and forth between those three colors over and over again to get the digital effect. You're not wanting to cover all of that tan base color, but you're going to cover probably 95% of it. But you don't want to just do one solid color and then move on to the next. You're going to want to kind of go back and forth between the three colors to get the full look of the digital camo layers. Everything has to be layered, right? So nothing looks the same. It's not a perfect pattern. Here's what I said. My sponge is a little crusty, so it was giving a really harsh look to my tumbler. So all I do is I take a scissors and cut off that part. You can kind of play around with it and pounce it onto your, whatever you covered your desk with to get a look of what your sponge design will be. You want to kind of test it out before you just start dabbing it away onto a tumbler. It's harder to take away than it is to add, right? So here I am actually using the Walmart sea sponges. I am doing the lightest color because it does give a thicker space. Um, so then I kind of started ripping pieces off of the sea sponge to kind of give it more of a textured look. That did work for a little bit. I wouldn't have done this for my dark color because it would have added too much dark. But for the lightest color, it did work. After you've done a couple layers of the bigger sponges, I then move into a medium sized sponge and just kind of adding a different pattern to this. I do go slightly into my tattoos once I get to this size of sponge. Don't go too far into your tattoos because it is harder to remove that ink off the tattoo, especially if you didn't epoxy or bright tone, which I usually don't do a coat between these steps. So you're gonna do all three colors with the medium sized sponges, just like you did the bigger ones. And then once you're to this step, you got a majority of it done. Now I'm gonna show you how to kind of blend in the areas around the tattoos to make it look more natural. So I take little teeny tiny pieces of the sponge and then for each color, you're going to then very little at a time, pounce it into the tattoo. So if you kind of go into the tattoo and kind of pounce out back towards the pattern, the digital pattern, and you're gonna do the exact same thing for all three colors. 
Be conscious of the colors you're using when it comes to services. This is an army cup. So army digital patterns kind of look similar to the Marines digital patterns with the color bases. They are different. You need to keep that in mind when you're doing these. So one might be more tan than green. The Navy is grays and blues. The Air Force has their own colors. So if you don't have a service member in your house or someone you could ask, like I have a husband who is active duty army. Go on to Google, look it up, look up the differences of colors per branch. You don't want to give this to a service member and then not like it as much because the colors are slightly off.
So then once I am happy with it, I add a teeny tiny amount of black onto the smallest pieces of sponge around the tattoo area just to blend it slightly more. Be careful, your black can get away from you and it, it's harder to hide than the other colors. And then I add just barely, barely pounce a little bit of black here and there. It just is going to break up the three colors a little bit more. Like I said, barely any. Just tap it lightly to see what it's going to look like. You're going to want to do the same thing. So change your hand around change the position of the sponge you want it to look different throughout the tumbler once you're happy with your pattern how to remove paint off your tattoo if you have not epoxied or bright toned you need to be very gentle take a q-tip with a little bit of water on it and you're going to kind of pounce it at that ink you're trying to break up. Be very light handed because you will remove paint. You will remove inks off of the tattoo itself. So you want to kind of pounce it and then lightly rub. I kind of rub in circles. It breaks up that pattern you added onto the tattoo. It just kind of gives it more of a natural like gradient. So I go around my entire edge with this kind of circular motion just to kind of make it a little more natural. So if you have spray paint on your tattoo that is, is not coming out with the water, take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. This is 91%. You need to be even more soft and careful with this. Um, so I take barely any and tap it on that spot you want to remove and then flip it over to the dry side and dry off your tattoo you don't want your tattoo sheet to crack from the alcohol i only do this on very stubborn parts i don't do this around my entire edge like i did the water and then once i am 100 percent happy with it i let it sit to dry before i add cc diy quick coat I had a coat of this before I add epoxy or even bright tone to my tumbler. Um, let this dry fully before you move on to your next step. Once your epoxy is cured or your bright tone has set overnight so it's hardened up, wear your gloves, your mask. You don't want to breathe in any of these particles. You're going to then sand. You have to sand your rim to get a little bit of stainless steel on the top of your tumbler. If you're doing bright tone or epoxy, you need either one needs to attach to the stainless steel tumbler side, not the lip of where the lid goes. So this is just a fine coarse sanding block. You can do sanding sheets if you don't have a block. Just make sure your hands don't go over that lip too far because it will sand down to where your hand is. These blocks are perfect for that. Then you're just gonna go around the entire tumbler 
top and make sure it is even the whole way around. Once you're happy with that, you're gonna need to sand the rest of the tumbler. If you're using epoxy, after you've sanded, you need to wash your tumbler with Dawn dish soap and water and then let it dry. If you're using Bright Tone, you need to wipe off your tumbler after you sanded it with a clean cotton rag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please write them. I will write back. Please like, share, subscribe. It does mean the world to me. Thank you everyone for your continued support. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy. I have a Facebook group, facebook.com devil doll community. You can come ask me questions, share your work.